Hello everyone. In this anatomy lesson, I'm going to talk about the different types of bones found in the human skeleton. And as you probably noticed, bones come in different shapes. So anatomists like to classify them into different categories. And we have four major categories of bones, long bones, short bones, flat bones, and irregular bones. And we also have two minor categories of bones, which are the sesamoid bones and the sutural bones. First, I'll talk about long bones, which are the most common type of bone found in the body. And these bones can vary in length, but the key characteristic that you want to remember is that they are always going to be longer than they are wide. And these bones are going to have a shaft made primarily of compact bone and two bulky ends, which often contain spongy bone. Now, the average adult skeleton has 206 bones, and there are going to be 90 long bones in the average adult skeleton consisting mostly of bones from the upper and lower extremities, such as the humerus, radius, the femur, and so forth, as well as those clavicle bones. Next, we have short bones, which have approximately the same length and width, which gives them a cube-like appearance. Short bones consist mostly of spongy bone that is covered by a thin layer of compact bone. And there are 28 short bones in the adult skeleton, consisting of the tarsals and most of the carpal bones of the wrist. We also have sesamoid bones, which some anatomists like to classify as a special subset of short bones. And these are going to be embedded in tendons. And the word sesamoid sounds kind of like sesame seed. And that's because these seed-shaped bones get their name from a Greek word that literally means resembling a sesame seed. There are four sesamoid bones in the adult skeleton. You're going to have two patella bones, which is your kneecap bone, and you're also going to have two pisiform bones, which are the carpal bones. And sometimes sesamoid bones can form on the tarsal or metatarsal or even the incus bone in the ear, but this can vary from person to person. Next, we have flat bones, which provide protection to those vital organs. And as the name suggests, they are mostly flat and curved, and they have a thin plate-like formation. And they contain a layer of spongy bone covered by a thin layer of compact bone. And some flat bones do look a little irregular, so it can be confusing. For example, the scapula bone is technically a flat bone, but it does contain that spine, that acromion, and that coracoid process that does make it look somewhat irregular, but it's still classified as a flat bone. And there are 36 flat bones in the adult skeleton, including some of the skull bones, as well as the sternum and the ribs. And while I'm talking about those flat bones of the skull, it's a good time to mention another minor category of bones called sutural bones or wormian bones. And if you notice the sutures on most of these skull bones, they can be very jagged and irregular. And sometimes those little jagged suture joints can form a little independent bone, and that's all a sutural bone is. And they don't actually serve a functional physical purpose, but they can be a marker for some diseases. And then finally, we have the last major category of bones, which are the irregular bones. And these come in various funky shapes and sizes, and they don't fit in any other of the bone categories, so they put them in their own category. And these also consist of a layer of spongy bone covered by a thin layer of compact bone. And there are 48 irregular bones in the adult skeleton, including the hip bones, the vertebrae, the hyoid bone, and some of your skull bones. Now, some anatomists will disagree on the exact number of bone categories and whether this bone should be in this category or that category. So I would recommend you double check your textbook to find out what your professor wants you to learn. But generally speaking, that should help you understand the different types of bones. Now, we have a free quiz on our website that you can check in the description below to help you test your knowledge on this topic. Also, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos, so make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.